So the Ripon Cup is next. This is a listed race over two and a half miles on Looney Tunes at the top for four roads. Bobby Sox to John Morgan, Dice Shiner, Sister, Graham Clutterbuck, Haribur Turk, David Robertson, Highbury in October for Graham Clutterbuck, Miami, Craig Beckwith, Trouble Seed, Leon Van Rensburg and Validation for Joshua Sutherland. So the Ascot Gold Cup winner back over a more suitable trip today and not giving away so much weight I wouldn't have thought well he probably is thinking about it because they're away and racing and this is another listed race isn't it so he's going to be carrying the same penalty as he was carrying last week and personally wouldn't put a penny on him to beat these horses with that much of a penalty when it's validation in the lead Looney Tunes in second and then Bobby Sox are in third Haribur Turk the Grey on the outside is fourth so validation then into the lead from the Ascot Gold Cup where Looney Tunes in second and Bobby Soxer is third in Harrow Turk and Highbury in October by Charlotte's sister is next and then Trouble Seen in Miami at the back so they're almost already through the first half mark and Validation is the leader by two to Looney Tunes in second Bobby Sox a third, Haribur Turk the Grey fourth. Highbury in October on that one's inside. And Dia Shah, a sister in trouble scene. And Miami just the back marker at this point. So the pace is pretty hot at the moment. And Validation is the one setting it. And that might play into the hands of Looney Tunes in second, who is without doubt the best horse in the race. Whether he can give the weight away is another thing entirely it's validation in front Looney Tunes in second Bobby Sox a third then Haribur Turk and then Highbury in October after that one as we race past the weighing room and the crowd and validation is the leader Looney Tunes second Bobby Sox a third then Highbury in October and Haribur Turk and then Daishara's sister Trouble in Miami. So everybody going pretty much as they want to at the moment. Nobody seems to be sending out any distress signals and they're all quite happy with their position. Validation is happily clear by five. Looney Tunes got that one in its sights in second and then the rest of them virtually in the line ready to come and pounce when they're ready. Validation for Joshua Sutherland. I was a little bit off the pace in the flat championship this season, concentrating on the jumps. Um, Paul Rhodes, Looney Tunes in second. Paul Rhodes back in amongst the winners yesterday after a few weeks without a winner. He's now back to grade one form on the flat and starting to get some grade one winners over the jumps as well. Even if it's in the National Hunt flat race, but he's certainly getting back to the form he was in in the days of SO6. And those major battles between Joshua Sutherland and Paul Rhodes have become a battle between Joshua Sutherland and Leon van Rensburg on the jump side of things this season. That's a completely new wave really in the flat with Vinnie Gerrard at the top not represented in this race. David Robertson having a great season. Darren Thompson up there as well and Dan Hughes as well. So probably get a new flat champion this season but Validation's in the lead. Looney Tunes is in second. Trouble Scene is third, the old DCC dual code championship seems to have fallen by the wayside, so I might try and resurrect that before next week and see who would be winning if we were still having one because it's significant. And Valida Validation is in the lead, Looney Tunes is second, Trouble Scene is third, Hybrid October's after that one, and then comes Bobby Soxer and the field are now really beginning to bunch, but Validation is kicking on again in the lead by two to Looney Tunes is under pressure now. Then comes Dyshana's sister and Miami sweep through in a second, but it's Validation in the lead with two furlongs to go. Validation's led all the way so far. Miami is trying to close in second. Looney Tunes is trying his best to shoulder that heavyweight. Haribur Turk, Dyshana's sister, Highbury in October, trouble seeing the leader. He's beginning to top. Now stamina comes into it, and the stamina might be enough to carry Looney Tunes. 
Tunes home, Valley Nations in the lead, Looney Tunes coming to take it up then again now under this big weight, he's really tall in, but he's poking his head in front, it's Looney Tunes in the lead from Validation, Guys, Shana Sisters finishing well, but it's going to be Looney Tunes who's going to take it, and Looney Tunes is going to win the rip and cup despite the big weight, Miami second, Guys, Shana Sisters third, then Haraba Turk, and that goes to prove something, never take a tip off a commentator, because I said it couldn't win under that penalty, and it's just proved me wrong, but he's outstayed the others really, and class comes to the top cream rises doesn't it and all that sort of stuff so looney tunes there has won that one pretty cozily despite giving away a stone in penalties so paul rhodes takes it with looney tunes miami second for craig beckwith dyer shana sister for graham clutter was third harabur turk david Rawson fourth and validation for joshua sutherland was fifth